So what is the fastest way to learn to code and get a job in let's say six months? If you think about it, there are two problems here. The first is learn to code and the second is to get a job. So how can you solve these two problems simultaneously? Well, to be honest, I don't think there are two different problems. I think this is one big problem. Because see, most of the people, when they try to learn to code, they don't have a goal. They are just passively learning maybe Python or JavaScript or TypeScript or Java, right? They don't have a goal. But if you have a goal, then it becomes relatively easier to learn to code because you have a goal. The goal is to get a job. So now you are in the mindset where you, you know that you just have six months. You can't waste time. You can't waste time on Instagram or playing video games, right? You have to spend, you have to put all your effort in this one problem where you need a job. And in order to get a job, you need to learn to code. And why? Because learning to code is a skill. It is a skill which other people can use. I mean, other people can hire you and so that they can make more money. And in the process, you will make money. So this is the whole thesis. And people get confused. People get, I mean, distracted. Like, what should you do? What should you do? But they are just not focused. Focus is the one word I would recommend. If you can be focused and you have a clear goal to get a job in six months, trust me, you can get a job. Okay, so for learning to code, I would do these three things. I would learn the basics. I would learn the frameworks or at least one framework. And I will build thing. I will most likely at least build one killer app with my basic knowledge and my framework knowledge. And then you have a live killer app. That's all you need. This is not a complex procedure, trust me. If you do that, you can get a job. Now, the second part is how to get a job. Let's say you build that. It takes you two, three, four months, whatever, right? Now, what most people do, they will try to do everything. And at the end, they're like, okay, now I think I need to start preparing for interviews. And this is a wrong approach. What I would do on month two or three, I would start preparing for interviews. I would start doing easy lead code question. I'm not saying like solving 500 questions, just 50. Divide your data structures and each data structure give you five problems. That's it. This is what I would do. If they ask you a question apart from that, that's okay. That's your bad luck. But most likely 80 or 90% of the time, if they ask you DSA question, they will ask you on the basis of that. But most likely they will ask you questions from your front end side, your back end side or your database side, right? But trust me, you are not here to become a master. Your job is here not to become the master, your job here to get a real world job so that you can pay your bills, right? This video is brought to you by Remio. So Remio is a tool I've been using lately. This is a tool you can use to store your information at one place. And I'll give you a quick demo how easy it is nowadays with the use of AI you can store all your information and not only store, you can go through, you can, you can parse data, you can search through your documents super easily. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install Remio. I already did that. The second step, you need to install this Chrome extension, which I already did. So let's say you are learning React and you go to the official documentation and you're making some notes. So what you can do, you can highlight the text and then it gives you this create highlight sign. If you do that, see there's a click mark here and your highlight is in yellow. What does that mean? If, if I go to Remio, you can see that I have that information captured here. All I did was just click on this highlighted section. And not only that, when you click this icon, you get a lot of options. You have option to add to a collection, make it favorite, and you can even chat with the data of the page. And there are a lot of different things you can do. You can chat with the chatbot as well. And you can see as you do the highlighting, it will store your information and which you can go through and add your own notes, or you can also chat with the chatbot here. So it has the reference of all your data. This has like all the MDX features. What you can do, you can link other pages as well. If I do that, if I click that, now I can link promise. So this is kind of a hypertext tool as well, where you can hyperlink your different, different notes. And as you store information, you can have like put them in a beautiful way where you can see like your information is coming from Google Chrome or your local files or YouTube or Slack. So it, it tracks like where the information comes from so that you, you can easily index it and go through your document. So if you like it, please check out Premio. The link is in description. Now back to the video. So don't get distracted. Your goal here is to learn the basics, learn the framework, build things with that framework, put that thing live on a URL and get 10 to 50 users. Now you're saying, where would I get those users? You can ask your friends, ask your teachers, ask your parents. Anyone can be a user and you can show that 
when you're sending email, when you're sending your resume, you can say, I have these many users. And trust me, when someone see your resume or your URL and they're like, this is a really cool app. I would like to talk to this person. And this is the whole strategy. You don't need to make 10 apps, 20 average to do apps or whatever, right? If you want to get ideas, I have a link in the description. You can go and check out different ideas. Uh, I'll send you probably an ebook or some, some sort of document where you can read about what you can build and some other ideas I can throw you out as well. And if you're preparing for interviews, I have a practice book for interview. It is like a dollar currently on sale. You can grab that as well. In that book, I have all the knowledge I accumulated throughout my career, what kind of questions they ask. This is not a technical book. This is more kind of a behavior interview where you, where you know right, what kind of questions they can ask apart from your technical questions. And again, the goal here in six months is not to become a master in Python. You can't do that. It's like a decade long process. And trust me, companies are not looking for those people because if they are, they're probably looking for 10, 20 years of experience, right? They're looking a fresher. They're looking someone who can just join and help them and get ramp up in two or three months. And if you can show them that in the last six months I did that, trust me, they will give you one chance at least. And this is the only thing you need. You need that chance and you need to deliver on that. And I think that's it from today's video. This is my advice on how you can become employable in just six months. And this is what I would do in that case. Thanks a lot for watching.